Many a times in a chart, we see exalted planets, debilitated planets, and we wonder why we are not getting the corresponding results. There are many, many shlokas given in the uh, books, but there is much, much more decoding, and that decoding is done by William Sir, and it is a great opportunity that we are doing this webinar with him. He is kind enough to teach us, Sir. Namaskar. And Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar. Yes. Uh, on Sunday and 24th, what is a, uh, actually I have to give you a primer before it. Actually, I wanted to bring this session as a book first. That'd be a very okay. unique topic. Uh, after many uh, years of research, I've just decoded how the exaltation of uh, planets can reveal uh, many more secrets which are hidden. Uh, so, but then for, for some reason, I thought I, I'll get a direct feedback if I have a session and how people feel uh, after I go for an enlarged book. So the most of the essence of what will be in the book, an essence I'll be giving in the webinar. So uh, I, what is, I just want to clear out certain things. See, this is not about ex, uh, effect of exaltation and debilitation. I'm not going to teach. See, there is a huge secret why, why planets get exalted in each sign. The, uh, there is the, like what I say, the Kala Purusha Tattva. Uh, if you take it, there is a pattern why Jupiter gets exalted in the fourth house or Saturn gets exalted in the seventh house or Mars gets exalted in the tenth house of Karma. That's a secret. This is a general Kala Purusha Tattva pattern. But then this means different for each Lakna. Uh, it will change. For Rishabh Lakna, Jupiter will become the third. What is the meaning? So there is a, uh, we all know from the sign lot, uh, Adipatya, what does it mean? But from the, uh, what is it, debilitation and exaltation of planets, a lot of secrets, of most of the Parasi rules, uh, in, what is say is hidden, is not told it overtly. You will have to decode it, demystify the whole thing. My whole session will be about most of the Parasi rules, when you add the exaltation and debilitation rules, what does a yoga become? An ordinary yoga forming in a particular house and then yoga forming an exaltation house will totally change. So how uh, even a conjunction of planets, you, you uh, normally it is only taught between a Kendra Kona uh, planets, but you've never take it to uh, what I say, keeping the exaltation uh, houses. There is one particular uh, astrologer who has written about the Mula Trigona importance of planets. What is it? Yes, that holds a, a lot of things uh, were clear with that. I'm just taking it a step further. How to use the debilitation house, of, uh, an exaltation house of planets and how many things can be cleared with it. I will just share uh, what... Yeah, this will be the... Uh, uh, one second. Yes. Yeah, yeah, one second. I'm just... Okay, th this will be the, uh, uh, what is a topic which I will be uh, teaching you. So like I told you, first it will be the exaltation pat patterns for each lagna and this is like each planet, when it gets exalted in a particular house, it reveals our innate uh, uh, story of uh, what the person's, uh, uh, what is a uh, characteristics, luck, karma, everything. Uh, can be there. I will be revealing first for all the 12 lakna, what is the pattern? Why such planets get exalted in a particular house and the Nietzsche and what is the hidden meaning behind that? That uh, I'll be giving it. And then this the second point alone, I've just given uh, given it as a uh, an article in VV. A special uh, lagna lord's exaltation sign. A lagna lord where it gets exalted, a particular conjunction, combination of planets can be totally uh, very, very powerful. If a good planet combines it can be yoga, a bad planet there can destroy the, uh, the yoga aspects of the planet. That I'll be speaking with example charts uh, in this particular topic. And then one more very important, malefics in nature zones. Uh, what is a, more, more than a, any house, a planet, particularly in the nature zone of a planet, can afflict the karagatva of that particular planet very badly. What to say, uh, like if I have to give an example uh, in the Nietzsche zone of moon, if there is Saturn, Rahu, Saturn, Ketu, uh, you will know what happens to the moon significance can very, very, uh, very badly afflict it. This I will be explaining in detail uh, about what I say, how the Nietzsche zones, can, uh, uh, when they have a malefic planet, what it can mean. Then we'll come to the most important thing, exaltation signs and Raja Yoga secrets. 
by a combination of planets in an exaltation science uh, what is a uh, what is a, how does a rajayoga form this is what i say uh, this is like an incomplete rule we take only the sign lord akendra kona to form a yoga but what is missing is you will also have to take the exaltation sign house also uh, one one uh, uh, thing is you can take the mula trigana for certain problems are solved with mula trigana but if you do not take the exaltation sign house also you miss a very important thing especially if you, are un you want to understand about exaltation we come to the fifth one disposed to secrets see it is everybody knows sign lord where is the position of sign lord is a normal thing if you want to apply kp rule it is a nakshatra disposed or where it is placed or you can take the navamsa disposed there is one more very important disposed and when you take the disposed and you connect this a lot of things will be demystified cleared and you will understand the horoscope in a totally different way uh, this is a very very important uh, thing which will be uh, taught then the same thing apart from the major raj yogas there are other lesser yogas also uh, formed in exaltation signs of planet it is not just uh, I, uh, what is a even quadrant trinate planets forming even a 6 8 large form in exaltation signs has a lot of meaning i'll be telling uh, how, what kind of yogas uh, can be formed in exaltation signs then the aspects on an exaltation sign which planet aspects the exaltation sign wow what difference can it make in a horoscope it's very very up and certain key planets aspecting the exaltation can change the meaning of it when a particular planet is there and it aspected by another particular another specific planet it can mean a totally very different thing this uh, secrets of this uh, uh, aspects being made on exaltation we will be talking about and then there is another thing called exaltation and debilitation sign lords conjunctions and their uh, significance it is not the sign lords uh, uh, also a planet owning an exaltation and a debilitation if they conjoin together what is the meaning like what is say if, you know, if mesha if sun gets exalted saturn gets mecha so anyway if sun and saturn gets conjoined what will be the results Uh, all the combinations will be discussed then we have one more thing uh, parivartana yoga in three different ways this is sign everybody knows the sign lord parivartana some people go on to use nakshatra parivartana but i have two more <laughs> extra parivartana it has never been in print or never in be most of what i'm telling is never been print or in, in media it will be the first time uh, I, i i wanted to keep it for a book but for some reason i thought we'll have it as a session so i a live session to be more better for me to extend it or develop it better the views i'm just bringing it as a matter now so the parivartana first time will be revealing uh, what is apart from the sign lot two more other important ways of seeing the parivartana and uh, i'll be extensively using a lot of uh, uh, horoscopes mostly in this horoscope we'll be using celebrity horoscopes with a rating so, uh, so we'll show all these all how it applies to a celebrity horoscope then the last part of it is the secrets of adipatya so, so all of us know uh, 6 8 12 lords are bad uh, uh, trinal lords are good and uh, kendra lords are good but then this is only taking the again it, uh, there is only taking the planets own house swakshetra significance but where you miss the secret is what, how does it make a difference when the when you take the exaltation planets house or you take the nature how does the adipatya change what is the lordship changes that is in fact the crux of the whole class that will change the yoga aspect formation raj yoga dhana yoga ava yoga everything will change and ava yoga uh, the nisha yoga uh, uh, planets house will come for a raj yoga the lordships of a planet in exaltation will change the whole thing so this is a very very uh, important aspect uh, so uh, what is i will be discussing something else more also Um, uh, what is it so this will be i think the first time uh, this is never in print it is i have not read it anywhere it's not in any nadia anything it's my personal research will be revealing a, uh, in this webinar it will be very very uh, revealing it very very useful after the session it's going to be a total look out how you look at the horoscope it will be absolutely totally different a different totally deeper uh, perspective and understanding lordships to aspects to parivartana to conjunctions everything parasir rules uh, you will be looking at in a totally different deeper wider angle i'm sure this is going to be a very uh, enriching uh, session for everybody
Yes, ma'am. Do you have any doubts? This is a very, very different topic, never before taken. We all use the exaltation, debilitation, but we never go deeply into it, as sir said. And sir, he is having a material of one book. And sir is going to reveal all that in this webinar. I hope all will take this opportunity and join. The topics we are coming up with is very different. Even D12 we did was never taken before. Even this is a session that has never been done before. Nor is there a separate book about this. I don't think so. I have never come across it. Sir, thank you so much for giving us so much variety in your book. Thank you. That's a greatness. Thank you. And as all know, sir gives wonderful notes, very well made, and the recordings will be sent to all the participants. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.